Hey everyone and welcome back to another mukbang. I hope you're all having a great day, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are in the entire world. I hope you all are doing great. We are going to be eating some fish and chips. Oh look at those fish, look at those chips. I'm super excited. This smells really good. I made up the recipe for the fish myself, so I'm kind of excited to see how good or how bad I did. Got some tartar sauce. I'm gonna go... You won't even notice. Okay, so I got some tartar sauce and some ketchup. We're gonna try these fish and chips. Um, so I'm glad you guys are all down for the conspiracy theories. Me and my boyfriend were getting into it today. It's not that about that conspiracy theory of life. So, there was this finding off the island of... Mm, I'm look, because I don't want to say something and have it be wrong. I think Ciceros, something like that. Orichalcum was found. Look it up, it's pretty cool. Cool. I'll talk about it though. Or a chalcum. Mmm. This is good. Oh, did I just dip that in ketchup? I shouldn't have done that. Mmm. Mmm. That tartar sauce is surprisingly good. Okay. Gela. See, I was wrong. These divers went down only a hundred, no, only like ten feet deep, I think. Was crazy. They found a shipwreck with orichalcum in it. With or, which orichalcum was supposed to be a mythical metal made by the Atlanteans. So it kind of leads credence to the story of like maybe Atlantis is real. Well then we got into like, who has talked about Atlantis? Plato, Herodotus, a couple other random Greek philosophers or historians. Um, but I always say this, why is it called the Atlantic Ocean? Atlantis, duh. So I think that it was probably somewhere like the tip of Morocco, either like the tip of Morocco in between the Strait of Gibraltar, Gibraltar, or somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean in between Africa and South America. Oh, crazy. That's one of my theories. But here's the thing. Who do you think the people in, in um, South America, where do you think those people came from? Do any of you guys have any explanations? Asia? Africa? They came from Africa. Genetically speaking. Not genetically speaking, they did. Because of genetics, because of DNA testing. They found like super ancient bones and they were able to test their DNA and it matched with another early, I don't know if hominin or hominid is, hominin is the right word. Hold on. That's gonna be the problem with me talking about conspiracy theories is like I have to look up stuff to kind of jog my memory. I've read so much stuff. I'm more about like Egypt, 
I really like Egyptology and Egyptian myth. I forgot what I was going to look up now. Oh, first people in South America. This is how mm, my fingers can't reach. First inhabitants of South America. After humans arrived in South America, they quickly spread into some of the most remote corners. Another problem is a lot of these places have very difficult names for me to pronounce. Kunchacha, C U N C A I C H. Um, This guy is one of the growing numbers of young archaeologists invest investigating how hunter-gatherers first colonized South America at the close, close of the Pleistocene Epoch, when the last Ice Age was waning. Casting aside old dogmas, these researchers are finding that people arrived significantly earlier than previously believed and adapted rapidly to environments from the arid western coastlines to the Amazon jungle and frosty heights of the Andes. So, meanwhile, South American archaeologists who have never, who were never as skeptical as their northern colleagues, have found more more sites dating to fourteen thousand and twelve thousand years ago, indicating that hunter gatherers had spread through South America before and during the rise of the Clovis culture in the north. Now that research has moved beyond debate, they are making greater headway in studying one people reach South America and what they did when they got there. See, so it's just all debate and conjecture until people find like actual evidence and then it really sucks when those people have to admit that like, oh, what we've been teaching in schools is wrong. What we've been teaching ourselves, what we've been telling ourselves is wrong. And that's what like the flat earthers they try to use that argument of like well see they've been teaching globes for so long that they've been like it's just I can't roll my eyes hard enough that's the one thing that I'm like no okay we can talk about lizard people in the center of the fucking earth and I will more believe that then I will believe that the earth is flat. No. Oh, I hit a piece of sinew. I should have done a better job. Or not sinew, but like the back of the spine. A spine. That doesn't bother me. But just like Atlantis, like, no. There, there, I guess there had been a couple of, a couple of artifacts of orichalcum. But here's the thing, like, if it was a thing that was used like a bunch, why aren't there a bunch of it? What if it was not used a bunch and it was only used by certain people? Hmm? Just some crazy theories. Um, these are like actual... Theories, though, some of what I talk about. Then I have other crazy ones that go along the lines of, like, Graham Hancock, where he's like, the Bible is actually meant to mind warp people into thinking that the devil is God, when they need to realize that we all 
have a piece of God in us and that's what's beautiful and that's why we are humans that's why we're special that's why we're different than monkeys is because we are meant to be greater and believing in some ancient book that was written like a crazy long time ago it would be like I don't know It would be like people believing in a book from 2,000 years ago. I mean, that's what's fucking crazy to me is like, I can tell him something like that, that humans came out of Africa and moved to South America around 14,000 years ago, and he can call me crazy, and he doesn't believe in God, but it's just like, I'm sure that mentality is out there that like, oh, you're coming up with weird, crazy theories, and I know I've watched so many videos of like Peru and ancient aliens thank you Tony Spears for sending me that ancient aliens debunked link and I think it was under that gave me the science thing today that was really cool that's where I saw the Orichalcum I can't believe I've never heard of that before have you guys heard of the Antikythera mechanism how about that one That's another favorite of mine that it's just like it's really interesting. There's no myth about it, it's a real thing, but they can't really figure out what it was used for. They think it was used as like a lunar calendar. Oh, I'm so full. Um. I think there's good evidence that Atlantis was a real place. That's one of my things that, like, I would love in this lifetime. If only, like, one of my crazy beliefs can be proven, it would either be reincarnation or Atlantis is real. Maybe reincarnation would be better to know, though. <laughs> Do you think if people realized or knew that reincarnation was real, that anyone would change how they are because how we act now affects us in other lives? Or do you think they'd just be like, eh, fuck it, now I'm really going to be bad? Well, I sometimes wish that in the United States criminals were punished harder. <laughs> I feel like that would divert people from committing heinous crimes like murder and rape, but maybe not. I've kind of, I have kind of communist views on punishment. They're not very good. Um, I love Atlanta, so, and the Sphinx. There's a theory that the Sphinx is like 10,000 years old, too. Here's a crazy out there one. The Atlanteans, and this is not, I don't believe this one, this is like, also I said crazy out there ones. The Atlanteans had some sort of power source. And all of like the pyramids, any sort of pyramid structure around the world, anywhere with an obelisk, anywhere with rocks that were high in quartz, could like resonate with the energy that the Atlanteans were producing. And so like all over the earth, there were like these power sources. And it kind of is cool that all of the pyramids and stuff, they all match up on a grid. Like a power grid. So that would be pretty cool. Um, and the theory is that they were traveling in between places using the power and the pyramids. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. All the Peru ones, like, there's never ever, ever any real like theory of who built the all the Peru stuff in the Mayan temple. Oh.
there's no real, like, well, here's the thing. And same thing with the pyramid. You can't, it's like telling a Christian, your Bible's wrong, or maybe even, your Bible's right, but this part of it's wrong. They're not going to listen to you. That's, it's the same thing of going up to an Egyptian and being like, hey, do you know that the Sphinx is actually much older than the pyramid? They'd be like, no, it's not. You cannot change the mind of somebody who's closed-minded, who doesn't care, who ha is set in their ways, who has their opinion. Same thing in Peru. You're not going to go down there and go like, oh, all this shit was built by ancient aliens, don't you know that? No. You can't even go to them and tell them, hey, do you know these are probably not a thousand years old? These are probably actually ten thousand years old? No, they don't believe it. They don't care. So that's really bothersome when you're trying to make a headway with something. I've talked about this before, but the Library of Alexandria being burned down was one of the greatest injustices to humanity, to human civilization that has ever existed. And it was wrought out by Muslims and Christians. So they were trying to blind people to the truth. So I can say that and I'm crazy. That's good. The smaller pieces were a little better. This one's a little bit too cotty for me. But again, I'm still going to eat it. I don't think I'm going to eat this one last piece. I'm kind of full. I'll eat this ugly one. I just want to eat the... Um... I believe in reincarnation. <laughs> I think there's lots of evidence to back it up. I think there's lots of and 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 D's near death experiences that line up with one another. It's very similar to when people take DMT, everyone has a similar experience, maybe not a similar vision. But it's just interesting. Humans are very interconnected with one another. So I feel like when there's a mass rise of negativity, it's like the whole earth feels it. I could be wrong. Just my crazy theory. Mmm. delicious and these are called for anyone who's wondering a variegated lemon or a eureka pink lemon or a pink variegated lemon I'm all done if you guys enjoyed this episode this mukbang please hit that thumbs up button you guys have been killing it I love it thank you for smashing that thumbs up button um subscribe if you'd like to see more. I try to make new videos every day. In just a second, I will say all the new subscribers. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!